Dad, I'm gonna miss the bus. Christine, hurry up. Leave it, Dad. Dr. Reynolds. Now listen, please. That's the boys' dormitory. That's the girls. When you hear this, lunch will be served in the main building. After that, we'll head up the mountain to inspect our observation point for tomorrow. Does anyone remember why we're here? To observe the solar eclipse? Ugh, what a suck. Good. If we have time, I'll take you to visit a haunted cave. There's no such thing as ghosts. Don't freak out. I'll get it all on videotape. find him anywhere. I told you, he just disappeared. Well, that's impossible. Then where is he? What are we going to say? It's about your son, Paul. He seems to have disappeared. What year is this? Why do you keep asking these questions? I've gone back in time. I must have fallen through a time vortex or something. Quiet! I don't want this bad one to think I know you. Where I come from, we don't have small matters. Where is that? The future. You're going to the castle. The regents will question you. I shall try to save you. But you must let me speak for you. So what do we do now? We get back up to the cave and try and find a way into the other world. How? people in the world, and they all want stuff. Cars, washing machines, TVs. So everybody in your world knows what is happening everywhere else? Yes. I think I've got something you'll find very interesting. Perhaps he can help us repair our flying ships. Now tell me everything you know about Paul's world. Paul's world is huge. How is there any of it? After all, it's not every day we have a visitor. Listen, you're never going to believe what's happened to me. 